I read this in the chat a couple of times earlier, and I'm seeing it in my mentions on Twitter. Oh, the, oh, the meme. Oh, wait a minute, chat. Wait a minute. I think I saw this earlier this year, and I was like, what the f*** are people talking about like wait what is what what is going on you know I I, I I it was confusing to me too I remember I had to figure out the backstory of this I'm like so wait what the f where did this come from like what are we what are we talking about here somebody sent me this clip on on Twitter I don't know what the hell's going on all I know is that Hotashi just won Evo everybody was sending me this clip about like an apology I don't know if it's I have do I have to apologize to somebody or to Hotashi what's going on Max are you watching Hey, Hotashi, good shit on, uh, Maximilian, Maximilian, if you're listening, you're a real pro. I'm sorry. Good stuff. When you fight I didn't mean it like that. Like it's not the way I am. <laughs> what? The fuck's wrong with you, you idiot? So, we cool? <laughs> what is, what is this, what is happening up here? You're a streamer now? I always was sorry. All right? In case you guys were watching. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Okay, so this is, this is, so here, we have to, we have to go back. Right? We have to we have to go back because apparently this is not coming from anything recent. This is something from like a half decade ago. Like I said, I learned about this like uh, I don't know, six months ago or something like that. But there's this like meme. Uh in in like the anime uh Guilty Gear like fighting game community. Because of apparently this, because he insta killed me in in Guilty Gear Xard. Um and I've been insta-killed a lot in Guilty Gear Xard, but hang on, hang on, hang on. And this is old, man. Oh God. Dejected. Oh my, dude, instant kills are invincible? Insta-kills are invincible. I think this is when we came oh, back to Insta kills are invincible? What the fuck? We 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 came Pretty back serious? to Xard after like the big update when it was I think it was like Rev2 came out. Oh and then he backed out and he left the room. Are you serious that it Oh is that it? He 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 insta killed with Elfet and then dipped. Okay. But here's the meme, chat. This is not related to what the meme is. The meme is not this. The meme is that by Hotashi doing this, what was the death sentence for Guilty Gear? From this, tell me if this is right. Was the death sentence for Guilty Gear Xard, right? This actually killed Guilty Gear Xard Rev 2 this moment, prevented insta kills from showing up in Guilty Gear Strive. That this was the moment. And I'm here to tell you that I vividly remember this day. And right after this happened, I went on break. And I picked up my phone. And I called Daisuke. I told him. Daisuke. One of your community members just IK'd me on stream. I heard him go, huh? And I said, yeah. And I said, pack it up, Daisuke. This game's done. And it was like bitter silence for what felt like five to ten seconds. And he went, okay, okay. Bye-bye. And he hung up the phone. And from that point forward, I think... I think that's what did it. I think I might have gone a little too far. I think I used my, my influencing a bit too much. But it was time. I had to kill that game. I had to. Guilty Gear Xard had to die. So that Strive could live. You know? I had to take it out. It was old. It was hobbling. It was like, only could use two legs out of its four legs. And that code was bad. It didn't deserve to continue living. So anyway, chat, that's the meme. What is IK? IKs are insta-kills. So everybody wants insta-kill back. Insta-kills back, right? I've been comboed into insta-kill died several times. I've killed people with insta-kills in Guilty Gear uh, Xart a lot. I love it. Insta-kills were, for the most part, in many of the games, just kind of like there. And they weren't used a lot outside of really specific situations. 
So insta kills are exactly what they sound like. You would you would activate, and the next hit you would hit your opponent with from that super, bam, they're fucking dead. But there were ways to like combo into it in some ways in uh, Guilty Gear Exard, and I thought that was fucking great. I thought it was like yeah, it was. It's literally like the Guilty Gear equivalent of like a Mortal Kombat bru brutality. They're super flashy finishers. They are actually not in the game right now, and. To me, it was probably one of the things that I was looking forward to the most in Strive, where it's like, oh, how are they going to integrate insta-kills into gameplay? You expect them to launch with Season 2? That's what I was expecting, too. Yeah. Dude, I want to get insta-killed again. Fuck. If, if that's what it takes, I'll get insta-killed 30 times on stream. I'll get insta-killed in front of an audience of 15,000 people several times if it, if it means we can get them back. Let me take the shots. And apparently... We never, a part of the meme is that we never played the game again after this, which is just straight up untrue. <laughs> like, so we had several sessions in Yo! Video Games where we had, we had played Exard. Uh, this has been a thing for like fucking like four to five years or something like that, or four years, 2017. And that was it, that we have, that we never played the game again after that, which is just... To me, that, that's the funniest part. That's what makes memes truly funny, which I kind of love it. I think that's actually kind of fucking amazing that <laughs> we were the channel that killed the game. And that's the end of it. But I, I would I would like to say this was a very unique situation, but the, the, being the situation I'm in with a lot of people watching, this happens all the fucking time, chat. <laughs> yeah, if, if he's apologizing for this, I don't really... If that's if they if he's actually being serious, I don't think that's necessary. I really don't. I mean, if anything, um, I would accept his apology. But in 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 all fairness, I would hope that he would uh, accept congratulations for fucking digging in the trenches, putting in the time and effort to a character that people at launch were sort of demeaning and saying that Nago is trash now and all this stuff and then getting through the absolute fucking monstrous horde of uh, of soul bad guys and everything, and then and then making it to win Eva with that character, that's fucking, that's insane to me. That's like, that's super cool that he dedicated all that time. Because whenever I was like browsing around and looking for people playing characters uh, and stuff like, like Nago, I always saw him streaming Nago and just labbing shit. And in all honesty, like that's, I think the way Hotashi like approached this game and wanted to be the best at it is a is a very good understanding that I think a lot of people need to have about fighting games. Like he, he's put in so much time to getting good with this character and labbed so many matchups that you have no idea. Like, like I said, whenever I was browsing for stuff, he was always doing something in training mode or just getting matches and figuring shit out, you know? because that's actually what it takes to win EVO. Time is important, You need and you need to lab effectively, and you need to learn matchups effectively. It is difficult, man, to, to make it through something like an EVO and win it, so... If anything, yes, if the, if the apology is actually real, I'm very much um, thinking that's not necessary, but I do accept the, the meme-related apology. You know, it's okay. You, you absolutely killed Guilty Gear Exard. You made me take that 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 game to the vet, and we unfortunately had to put it down. It was important. So that Daisuke can focus on improving the netcode in Guilty Gear Strive, because if there was one game that pissed me off more than almost any other over the past five years, it was playing this shit online, man. For as someone that enjoyed playing this game as much as I did, there was a big thing that always prevented me wanting from learning more and getting better at it, and it was dealing with the fucking netcode in this game. You want to talk about one of the most depressing stories of fighting games over the past 10 years? It was getting such a great game like this to have terrible ass online and terrible ass matchmaking. It was sad. Like, it bummed me out. Like, I, I, I kept saying how it's like, there's a couple of games that I wish I can be good at, and I just never can because I don't have the fucking patience to deal with the game's systems, the game's online. And Guilty Gear XR, XR Rev 2 was one of them. I'm just like, I wish I could just deal with this shit and I had nothing else to play. I can't. Like, I, it, it frustrated me to no end. The fact that Hotashi did what he did and then forced my hand and we had to kill this game in order to get better online for the new one and, and, and start a fucking revolution and shit that they eventually paid attention to with several other fighting and content creators, good shit. You know, good shit. I definitely accept your apology and 
more importantly, uh, congratulations on fucking taking Evo with a character that everybody thought was absolute trash when uh, he got toned down and changed around from the previous beta. I think that's fucking amazing, man. Otashi, listen, congratulations, dude. I think it's a, it's a beautiful demonstration of what it takes to be truly dedicated to a fighting game and how much time it actually takes because you would be shocked that a lot of casual people, a lot of casual players for fighting games have no idea the amount of dedication it takes and people think we just mash our fucking face on the buttons and uh, a winner is at the result, <laughs> you know? So, congrats, man.